brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Hi there, everybody, and welcome to KSL Golf. Glad to have you aboard. We're at Stonebridge in West Valley. This Saturday, it's the Stonebridge Amateur. Nate Wonderly is your defending champ. He won in a playoff a year ago. Now, they still have spots available, so if you want to play in the Stonebridge Amateur, you can give him a call here at the Pro Shop to get your tee time. All right, let's get started with our UNA Golf Tip of the Week. Now, when you pull out your wedges, do you even think about what kind of ball flight you want, whether you want it high or hit it low? Well, there's a reason that you want to hit it high or low, depending on the shot you want to hit. Here's Mark Wetzel to show you how to hit one of those high, soft shots with your wedges so it'll come down and land softly on the green where you want it to. Today, let's talk about how we can hit the ball higher. And to me, yes, we want to hit the ball higher, especially when we come to the driver and whatnot. But when it comes to wedges, it's important to also make sure that you're flighting your ball, whether it's hitting it a little bit lower or hitting it a little bit higher. So as we try to hit the ball higher, the key is your setup. And, and what we're going to do with that setup is very simple. We're going to do two things to make sure that your setup dictates exactly how the flight of the ball is going to react. First and foremost, I've got two tees sitting here where my regular setup is with my wedge. I'm about 120 yards out and I've got a 50 degree wedge here. And I'm pretty much right in the center of my stance with a narrow, with a narrow stance with my feet. And you can see that I've got my two tees of where my marker is. That's where I normally am going to be. When I'm trying to hit the ball just a little bit higher, I'm gonna put that ball a little bit more forward in my stance. Now, for some reason, when people think that they're putting the ball forward in their stance to hit it higher, they're moving that ball four and five inches. That's not what we wanna do. I've got this other golf ball right ahead of this first golf ball, my, my main golf ball. It's only about an inch and a half further than where my original golf ball is. So if I remove that, you can see where these two tees are. I'm only about an inch and a half forward. And just by having that ball position be an inch and a half forward, that's going to help me to hit an on upswing, on the upswing. So having the ball maybe an inch, inch and a half forward in your stance or more towards your front foot, that's going to help you get that ball launch. Secondly, is I'm going to get a little bit more weight on my back foot. Not a ton. I'm talking maybe 55, 45. And the reason for that is it's going to tilt my shoulders a little bit more towards the sky and that's also going to help me to swing up on the ball, which will turn this 50 degree wedge into really a 52 or 53 because I'm actually gonna add loft. So by having the proper setup, having the ball forward, I'm now going to be able to swing up on that ball and have that nice high ball flight that I'm looking for with this pitching wedge. Okay. Try these, you can see just the setup alone, ball position and how you're setting up with the weight a little bit further back, that's gonna help that ball flight and I guarantee it's gonna work every single time. Just focus on the details. Ball position and your proper setup with a little bit more weight and that ball's gonna be going sky high. Hey, just a reminder to get your tee time for our weekly KSL Golf Day presented by Smith's Great Golf at a great price for a great cause. Every Wednesday at 3 o'clock at the ranches at Eagle Mountain, it's only $12 for nine holes in a cart, and $10 of every green fee will go to Primary Children's Hospital. Tea times begin at 3 at the ranches. Call the Ranches Pro Shop to sign up. Now let's try to give away some money in the Siegfried and Jensen putt for cash. Each week, one person will have a 50-foot putt. If it goes in, they win five grand. Hayden Phillips of Harriman, you're our putter. So first of all, what kind of putter are you? Hopefully a good one. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good part of your game? Um, I want to say I'm better at putting than driving for sure. You would? Yeah, I would say that. Okay. Well, what would you do? Five thousand dollars if you made that today. <sighs> oh man, I don't know what I'd do with that. Probably put it in savings. Is all I can say. <laughs> you got a gallery here with you? I do. I got my wife Natasha and my two little girls, Kinsley, the oldest, and then Blakely, our youngest. Good luck charms, huh? Good luck charms. You nervous? A little bit. You'll get, you'll get more nervous as we get close, oh, trust me. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll make it, will you? That's the hope. All we need is one. All we need is one. Okay, Hayden, you got your good luck charms here. Let's make it for five grand. Whoa, 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 
Oh, there's the brake right, huh? There it is. All right. A little too firm, a little too much. Hayden, you knocked it past 25 uh, feet. I did. So let's uh, <laughs> figure out what we're going to do here. At $100 a foot, you could have this putt for $2,500. Or, I don't even know why I want to ask you this question, you go back to 50 feet for half price for $2,500. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm play it from here. I think I'd take 25 <laughs> feet for 2,500, right. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so let's have a little more finesse here on this one. Yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Get there. Oh, it broke on you at the last second. Well, you know what? You don't leave it short, Hayden. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bud. Well, hey, thanks Thank for you. playing. Yeah, it was fun. Now, if you'd like a chance to putt for $5,000, go into any of the Smith's Marketplace stores along the Wasatch Front and check out the banner with the ugly dude and enter, and you could be the one to putt for cash. Hey, don't forget to enter our drawing for our grand prize. We'll be giving that away in August. And you know, when I say grand, I mean it is big time. Free unlimited golf for all of next year at the ranches in Eagle Mountain, Coral Canyon, Sky Mountain, or Falcon Ridge in Mesquite. And we're also giving away a set of Cleveland Launcher CBX irons. Just go into any of the five UNA golf stores from Riverdale to St. George to enter. All right, time to take a break. When we come back, we'll find out what our forecast will be for our golf game next week. That's when KSL Golf, presented by Siegfried and Jensen, come back to Stonebridge in West Valley. Well, folks, this one's an easy one. You take a look at the next seven days, there is going to be plenty of sunshine. The only real issue will be the, the, the extreme temperatures here for the next few days through the middle of the week. Then we start to cool temperatures down as we head into next weekend in southern Utah. For northern Utah, a little bit different. I mean, again, very warm temperatures through the middle of the week. We get into Thursday, Friday, we start to cool things down. We could see a couple isolated thunderstorms rolling through on Saturday. At this point, I'm just going with lower temperatures and a few more clouds. Okay, thank you. Well, that'll do it for this week. We'll see you again next Sunday night. Remember, it's always better to hit it long and straight rather than short and crooked. See ya.